Hey there, so here's a quick guide on all of the critters and animals favorite food in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'll also be sharing how you can approach all of them as some of them can be a tricky one. We'll start off with the squirrel first. Squirrels can be found in the starting area of the valley and in order to feed them, it is as easy as walking up to them and pressing the approach button. Their favorite food are basically peanuts, apples or blueberries. Apples are the easiest one to find early in the game so I would highly recommend that. Next off, the rabbit. They can be found in the starting area of the valley as well and in order to feed them, you need to basically chase them down for about 3 to 4 times. Just keep on following them whenever they stop and go and you eventually be able to finally press the approach button. Your favorite foods are carrot which can also be easily found in the early section of the game. Next off, let's move on to the sea turtles. Now, sea turtles can be found on Dazzle Beach and in order to feed them, you need to walk up to them and stand right beside them. They will hide in their shell for about a few seconds and will eventually warm up to you, allowing you to approach them. Their favorites are seaweeds which can be found anywhere on the map while fishing as long as you are not fishing in the bubbly circles. For the next critter, let's hop on to the crocodiles. Now crocodiles can only be found in the Glade of Trust and in order to feed them, you basically need to play a game of red light, green light. You want to start off by slowly moving towards them and while they are raising their heads and started to look around like what you see right now, simply stop moving and then resume walking towards them while they have their heads down. Rinse and repeat and eventually you will be close enough to be able to approach them. Now crocodile's favorite food are lobsters which can be found by fishing in golden spots located in the Glade of Trust. If these are too hard for you to find though, you can feed them some octopuses or herring as well. Now moving on, let's head over to the raccoons. Now raccoons can be found only in the Forest of Valor and in order to feed them, it is basically the same rule set as the crocodile which is red light, green light. By using the same tactic, you just need to stop as soon as the raccoon stands up taller and move towards them while they are lowered down. Once you're able to finally approach them, you can feed them blueberries as those are their favorite food. Now blueberries can be found across bushes in the forest of valor easily so this should not be a problem. Next up, the foxes. They can only be found in the frozen heights area and the way to feed them is to simply chase them down and follow them, similar to how you would feed a rabbit. Once you're able to approach them, you can feed them white sturgeons as those are their favorite food. White sturgeons can be found in golden fishing spots located in the frozen heights but if these are too hard for you to find, feel free to feed the foxes some salmon as well as these are easier to fish for in the frozen heights and they enjoy them as well. Moving on, let's head over to the sunbirds. Now sunbirds can only be located in the sunlit plateau and all you need to do to feed them is to simply walk up to them and hitting the approach button. Now regarding their favorite food, all of them love flowers but only if the flower is the same color as them. As a quick example, I found this sunbird right here and with a quick glance at their color, I know that their favorites are either blue flowers or pink flowers. The same feeding rule applies to other sunbirds that you encounter like feeding sunflowers to golden sunbirds, red flowers to red sunbirds, purple-ish flowers to orchid sunbirds, etc. I would usually just pick out random flowers around the map before approaching them so I won't have to backtrack for the color of flowers that I want later on. Next up, the ravens. Now, ravens are a special case as currently they are not available in the game. Ravens are supposedly to spawn only in the Forgotten Lands but so far there are none of them. So don't waste your time in trying to figure out where they are, we'll just have to wait and see in the near future. But yeah, these are all of the critter's favorite food in the valley so far. And if you want to know how you can turn them into permanent companions such as your own pet, you can click on the video on the left side here or simply head to this other video as well as you may enjoy them as much as I did in making them. That's it for now, this is the Viperion signing off, thanks for watching and as always, stay awesome and I will see you in the next video.